Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Misty Media tutorial, we're going to be learning how to do focus stacking in Photoshop CC. Focus stacking is whenever you take multiple what are called slices of an image, where you basically focus on one part, and then you take a picture, and then you focus a little bit further onto the next part, and you combine those together to create a really, really large depth of field. This is used a lot in like food photography and macro photography, any times where you want to get a lot of detail just kind of all throughout, but you're limited by physics with how much depth of field you can actually get. Like even at ridiculous apertures, sometimes you just can't get everything you want in focus. So focus stacking, great tool. So let's jump right into this. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go up to file scripts, load files into stack. And from here, what you do is you just hit browse and then you go to the folder with your uh, images in it and you hit okay. And then you just do attempt to um, automatically align source images. These are kind of some pretty worst case scenarios. I took these at my parents' house after I made a pot pie one time. And I said, you know, good job, Theo. Let's take some pictures. And it was all handheld. I didn't have any sort of ruler for focusing stuff. It's just kind of going, going at it and it turned out okay. So using this attempt to automatically align source layers basically is just like how you stitch a panorama together. But in this time, it's not going to be that wide of an image. It's just going to be a bunch of the same things. And since I was going handheld, you, you kind of need that. So I'll hit OK here, and we'll wait for that to process real quick. All right, and now you see this is, this is terrible. Nothing's in focus. It's awful. It's aligned with images, yeah, but this isn't what we want. What we have to do next is select all the images. You just click on the bottom one, shift, select the top one, and then you go up to edit auto blend layers. And from here, you normally, I normally choose panorama because it's known for panoramas, right? But you can actually go stack images right here and just, you know, keep seamless tones and colors checked because why not? So stack images, that'll do exactly what we want with the focus, hit OK, and let that process real quick. And then boom, look at that. We've got this whole pop pie in focus when beforehand, let's just kind of pick one of these at random, hold down alt to select it and then shift click the mask. You know, we've got blurry front and blurry back we're not about that here so boom we got our whole pie and pot pie and focus you can hit c to you know crop it in because you know apparently i don't know how to frame a shot when i'm at home or ever just pull that in we'll just center it up make it just like it should be on a menu hit enter we got our pot pie look at that it's not i'm not a food photographer or a cook but this image is in focus all the way through, and that's what we're here to find out. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you found this helpful, like the video, comment on it if I did something wrong or stupid or right and great. If you have anything other that you wanna learn in Photoshop or After Effects or Premiere or Cinema 4D or Blender or any of the other myriad of programs that I play with on a regular basis, be sure to let me know and I'll do my best to make that. Uh, eat your vegetables and thanks for watching.